My top tip is to adapt your programme to suit your horse as opposed to making every horse fit into your programme. I think when you're in the ring you've definitely got to be going in there for two minutes, you own the ring and use it. My top tip is work hard and always be honest with yourself and follow your dream. Get a trainer to have somebody, an international rider who can help you with the courses, tell you what to do because they've got the experience at the end of the day and they'll be there to support you, tell you what you've done wrong and give you the praise when you've gone right. My top tip is a lot of luck, hard work and determination. My top tip would be, if you want to make it in the world of show jumping, always be dedicated if you believe you can achieve. Some top tips from some of the best in the business. This month's featured tip comes from one of the most experienced. It's Tim Stockdale. Now the one good tip I can give to any rider when you're doing a combination is you must never go in too forward, too fast, because the problem is the horse is out of balance. This is a good combination to look at straight away. We've got a vertical to another vertical to an oxa, a spread parallel. I'm going to walk the distance to find out what the distance is in between, and then we'll talk about it at the end. So we've got a vertical coming in, off a turn, we've got to try and keep to the centre. Because we've got three in a row, we don't want to be going in, leaning to the left too much, or leaning to the right. We're going to work out the stride. The horse's stride is average at 12 feet long. We've got to allow takeoff and landing within that. So we're going to do that by half a stride. So one, two, two of my strides is equivalent of half a horse stride. One, two, three, four. That's one stride, and then again you see the takeoff distance there. So we know that's a nice one stride distance in between those two verticals. The key from a rider's perspective is not to get too forward in the riding position. If you do that, you overbalance your horse and your horse is going too much on the forehand. In other words, going too forward when it gets there. You've got to stay nice and solid in your, in your position, but off the horse's back and allow the horse to stay in balance and jump these two elements. The third and final part, Again, from centre to centre, one, two, one, two, three, one stride, one, two. Now, from walking this distance, we can see this is a little bit on the forward side, a little bit long. And you can see again, he's made a spread fence. And what a lot of riders and horses will do here is because it's a spread fence, they'll push a little bit out. And this is where they'll cause problems. The front rails, pretty square, very parallel, but also we've got flat cups on here so this falls off very very easily the riders have got to let the horses get up and use their ability and not try to push too hard otherwise they'll make a mistake here like i say the triple combination is a very important part of any course but it's also one where mistakes can be made stay central stay balanced and allow your horse to jump the front rails of the parallels and don't be intimidated by the back rail.